Hey everyone, I'm Joe. I'm Tiffany. I'm Bart. And I'm Gio. And you're watching... Pass the Feels! And today we have a question from Lou. I can't come during sex and my significant other feels like it's their fault. Why can't I come during sex even though it feels good? I've dealt with somebody oh. with that exact same problem. A guy? He never came. So... Was he able to come by himself if he beat off? Yes. But... Too much sex? porno and too much masturbation. Exactly. Okay. <gasps> Dang! Solved it. Immediately. How did you find that out? When we first started dating, um, he would last forever, and I'd be like, "Dude, when are you? You know, you can come now. You know, so it. You can come now. <laughs> you can come now. So yeah. intermission has passed. You can come now. <laughs> Not you only that. Satisfied me to the point of <laughs> now I have rug burn inside my pussy. <laughs> no, but then it got to. Sometimes it was. During sex, he was still really turned on, but then his penis would go down. And he wouldn't be erect anymore. And I'd be like, is it me? Am I the problem? Like, what's going on? And then later on, I found out that, I forgot what it was called, but it's actually a common thing that a lot of guys have. But once they have this, it's really hard to overcome. And it all depends on their partner. So actually, we like work together on, I made him, like I tried making him feel comfortable about the situation. Because um, I've heard instances of where the girl makes the guy feel like shit or like, oh my god, you can't get it up or Aww. you can't finish or things like that. So I tried really, I wasn't going to do that. So I tried to make him so feel nice. comfortable and he didn't have that experience anymore. He was able to finish. He was, we were able to have a good sex life after that. But it was really hard in the beginning for him to overcome that because he, he would tell me that in all his previous relationships, he always had that problem that he couldn't finish. Or like he just mid-sex, his penis would just go down. Then how did you how did you uh, narrow it down to it being too much porno or too much beating off? Well, that was one of the solutions that when I did research, it was. And once we talked about it together and we would try finding solutions together, that was one of the solutions that actually helped. So it's making it's to lessen the porno. Stop lessen watching the porn. porn. Stop beating off. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I mean, I read about this too, and then I had one friend, and, and last time with Taryn, like, she said that she dated someone where, um, oh, yeah. remember, like, they yeah. needed to watch porn together while they fucked, because yeah. that's what kept them, Wow. Yeah. that's one of the negative things that porn can do to a guy, is like, they associate watching that and being constantly visually stimulated, while, while, while the sensation of beating off, like, the hand versus what a pussy feels like, and they're like, they connect that as sex. So now their brain is taking that as sex and thinking that is what it's supposed to feel like. So when they get a real women, like when they when they have sex with women, they can't fully enjoy it because their eyes aren't getting visually stimulated like watching porn. Their dick doesn't feel the same inside vagina. That's kind of like where I realize, oh shit, like maybe I should just chill out on this and see what happens if me without a problem if I try this, how much better will my sex be with my partner? And I actually tried it out. It's fucking great. Because then you're just like, it's like I was in prison. For <laughs> <laughs> this woman is like the first naked person I've seen, naked girl that I've seen in my whole entire life. That's what a breast looks like. That's what, but oh my goodness, like. And you put it in, and you're just like, oh, I'm about to come in two seconds. Yeah, and then you're not beating off, so your nerves aren't are, are fresh and new, and it's just like, just thirsting. I don't know if this is his case. Like, he just yeah. might have a straight-up disorder where he's never, ever been able to do it with any partner from the start. Nah, he, he watches Ask the Fields for sure. It's too much porno. <laughs> and if that's the case, you definitely, just definitely need to seek out professional help. Yeah. Try for a couple months. Don't even watch porn. Don't even touch your wiener. Don't even beat off. Where See you how you treat kiss. your girl. Get fucking chopsticks and hold your dick. <laughs> Don't even touch that might even feel good. You might be like, oh, with chopsticks turning me on. But guys just like girls though, if they're always in their head and they're trying to like think about coming and all that, they're not going to come. It's like, it's hard to. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Ask the Feels because I really like talking about some personal, intimate, sexual shit with you guys. If you guys want to see more videos, check right here and click this one. It will take you to another video. Also, click in the description down below and you can follow all of us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all of that stuff. Just check down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe, baby. I mean, she's getting annoyed by him. But what if he's like, 
out of nowhere 24 7 